Wang Huiyao, as we saw, it is part of China's strategy to lift people out of poverty by deploying officials into impoverished areas. But their mission, like we heard from Fei Cheng, is not without challenges. When we spoke to him, he expressed his concerns and posed this question. There are many more poverty alleviation special officials in China just like me. We're committed to helping poor people get rid of poverty. But how do we keep them out of poverty? Are there any successful examples that we can learn from? So that's a big challenge, isn't that, Wang uh, Huiyao? How do we keep people out of poverty? Well, I think we have to develop a, a, a consistent mechanism, really, to help them. I mean, uh, we, we need to have the tool in place. Uh, for example, I mean, uh, a lot of poverty was, uh, uh, was uh, caused by there's no electricity, no internet, no uh, access to the uh, infrastructure, the roads, bridges. I think China's done that very well you know, in the last four decades, particularly in the last 10, 20 years. China basically, as I said, industrialized the uh, uh, country. Uh, <laughs> Infrastructure-wise, has, has really got ch China already well in place. But on top of that, China also trained a lot of talent. Uh, they have actually uh, sent the college graduates to the, to the rural area uh, as, uh, as uh, village officials. But also I think that uh, the digital economy has really connected many uh, rural areas that, uh, uh, that they can sell the product that the youth cannot sell, and then they can really get access to the big market and, and uh, to the urban centers. So a variety of ways I think that uh, with coupled with technology, coupled with the talent, coupled with uh, uh, instant uh, uh, streaming of their product into the uh, uh, pipeline of the cities and uh, uh, coupled with the uh, uh, also the massive uh, 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 access uh, facility that convenient and I think on top of that the government really put this as, as, as a measurement uh, for all the officials at all ranks that you have to do it you, you really have to do it. so the whole society approach I think in the charities business uh, companies everything uh, so I think that has built uh, this uh, uh, comprehensive approach that has really made China achieve this kind of uh, objective. So, so in order to sustain that, I think that we have to really keep this kind of a, uh, a system in place. Uh, and also this kind of rule and also this kind of a, 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 you know, a, a model in place to really uh, to keep, keep it forward.